Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. Here at my zoo, we are playing the franchise mode, and this is our third episode now. Um, there's a few things to go over. Um, first of all, I want to thank you all for your continued support. In just less than 48 hours, I already have around 60 views, which is pretty good for a small channel like me so far. So I want to thank you all for the support, number one. Um, and number two, um, just an update is that um, when I record, my mouse isn't showing. So um, that's just a little minor detail. So I'm gonna be talking about some future plans I have um, in the zoo. But for right now, I wanna talk about what I changed um, since the last episode, because I did do a little bit of, um, <laughs> little hog just ran. I did do some changes um, by myself when I was not recording. So we're gonna get straight into things. Uh, we're going to go a little bit over our management soon because we need to do that, especially since it's a management game. And I need to make sure I earn money. So we will talk about that soon. But first of all, um, the Tepir exhibit, I changed the side of where the glass is on. I literally just did it, so people are going to start moving over here more. Um, I think it actually works better right here. I added some plants. I moved a few things around. So it looks a little bit more like a habitat now. I think it actually looks quite nice. Tree right up against the water, you know, nice little thing. Yeah, I think that's working out pretty well. What is next? Oh yes. So the second thing is, is that I added a food court and a utilities area. All right, yeah, I don't know what this is. I was just trying to make things look nice. All right, please don't judge me, I am trying. But we added our utilities back here. Um, there's a generator and a uh, water purifier. So the water purifier is, oh, they just took another tap here again. So now it's gonna clean the water here. Um, so if we go underneath our management, there we go. We can see how clean the water is now. So it's been cleaned. Um, earlier it got really dirty uh, because I forgot, or <laughs> I say I forgot, but I also kind of ignored the fact that, you know, it needed to be clean. So I just let it get dirty first before I actually added a water purifier. And those things are expensive in this game. So everything else is going pretty well so far. So now we talk about our plans. Oh yeah, but before we talk about our plans, we take a look at, oh yeah, this. So this is the negative effects of where these facilities are. And unfortunately, it's slightly coming onto the pathway right there, which means I'll have to figure out how to change that. Everything else is going pretty well. We finally have places for people to eat. Um, another thing that we need to do is increase our education. Um, let's go ahead and also look at how our research is doing. So we are not researching anything. I wanted you to research that, please. Thank you. And I also wanted you to research something. How about you research habitats? All right, so I think everything's going pretty all right so far. Um, we could make a little bit more money, but first, I think we're gonna want to figure out what we're gonna do for future plans. So, my mouse doesn't show. This is the plan, all right? And first of all, I need to mention that I do need suggestions. So, if you have ideas, feel free to use them because this is a plain, boring park right now. It is flat. It is simple. My building skills are not up to date with this type of game because I'm simply just used to playing a coaster and I'm not used to this game yet. So we want to move our path and I really don't like where that was. The plan is is that we're gonna build a large open area for our savanna. So we got a small few exhibits toward the front, right? But we need something where multiple animals can go over the same area with each other. So I'm going to create some sort of layout, um, and quite simply, um, I'm going to cut, and we're just going to see how it turns out. Whoa, what is going on? This thing sprung a leak or something. Alright, so we're getting a mechanic over to our, oh, yeah, you better run. That thing about to blow up or something. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. Um, I think I have the base of what I want to do. So animals still need shelter, right? And there's going to be big animals, so they need a big area. What I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to bring down the fence all along here. I'm just going to stick with the red wall for now. 
is just what it is right now. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to leave the pathways like this and we'll have our nice free roaming area over here, add some water, all that fun stuff, right? And then we'll add some shelters back here for the animals that, you know, want to sleep and stuff. Okay, welcome back. I know it was just a quick second for you, but for me it took a while. <laughs> but we finally did it. And as we are speaking, more animals are coming into the exhibit. Like you just heard. And, but before we look at the exhibit, um, I had to add another staff building because the other one got too full. So I um, added one right here because it's more in the center. Um, maybe more used more often. Is this thing breaking now? Jeez, these things are... Thank you. These things are just breaking constantly. But let's look at our exhibit. So this is our exhibit. We got some nice water. We're moving in our buffalo. So this exhibit will be gone. I'm going to delete it. And that sounds scary at first, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it. You know, make a few buildings and stuff to, you know, have a nice little entrance to the park. But then I'm also going to make more habitats back here and maybe even an exhibit in here. Um, so we'll have more of a path come through here too. But I think this should work out very well. We already got some things coming up. Our ostriches, hopefully they're in here now. Oh my god, this dude's swimming. They finally have their water, so they should be happy. Oh, you're just cooling off, aren't you? Yeah, but we not got a nice big pool for them. Here's our ostrich. Oh my god, look at you. Alright, let's see how you're doing, though. You have no enrichment or anything. So, terrain is just fine for you. Just like every other savannah animal so far. We have a nice big shelter back here for all the animals. However, they need to actually have sleeping pads, right? Large and large. There we go. Some padding back there. Um, and then we need to research them. So let's go research the ostriches. So we're going to have you research that. Did my mechanic research anything yet? Bro, I've been asking you to research stuff and you haven't been. That's strange. I've been trying to get my mechanic to research things, but he hasn't been. So hopefully that fixes. Or maybe they just don't want you to in the beta, but I would imagine it would be a little bit more clear about that. Yeah, so moved everything from the old exhibit over here. Except for this poor guy. I thought I moved you, buddy. All right, we're just waiting to get you moved. There you go. Poor little dude was just sitting there. He's like, where did all my friends go? <laughs> I really want to add a baobab tree in here, so I'm going to add one. And hopefully my animals don't get mad at me. Excuse me, what happened? Why are there so many warthogs in my list? Oh my god, they had babies. Oh my god. It didn't tell me. It just happened. What? I didn't even know. Oh my god, we have baby warthogs. But the problem is all their welfare is low now. So can I send somebody to this habitat, please? I'm calling both a keeper and a vet over to the area. Yep, there we go. Run, please. Run, please, run. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to upgrade some more staff. Um, like our keepers. Oh my god, I have protesters in my park. How was I supposed to know this? How was I supposed to know that there was going to be protesters coming to my park because an exhibit isn't clean because all of a sudden babies, baby warthogs exist now. Oh my god, this one's climbing up here. And my water treatment is failing again. Oh my god. See, I'm just trying to, you know, get by in life. I may have to, I'm going to have to do this. Like, I'm trying really hard right now, right? And for some reason, this guy's salary is not good enough for him. But yet their happiness level isn't changing right now. Oh my god, this animal's starving. Because my dude's not... 
Are my keepers just not doing anything? Because my animal was starving. Please fill up the food. Alright, so long story short, we were able to get rid of our protesters and our habitat is being well replenished now. And another thing is, is that I can't seem to get any research done properly. And of course is when I say that I actually get some research done. Um, let's just check out to see what it is because why not? Uh, it's my ostrich research. I'm actually going to pause it here soon. But whenever I do my mechanic research, it always disappears after. So you can see that like part of my level is being, you know, increased, but after a while it just disappears again. Not quite sure why it's doing that, but it is a beta, so. Um, and another thing is that I also hired a bunch of other staff members, mainly due to the reason because um, they simply... My staff members weren't uh, replenishing things properly or keeping habitats clean. So I have like four um, keepers now. So, and that being, I also added an extra mechanic guy. So the last thing is, is our large habitat. So if we scroll out right here, our large habitat, um, I mean like the park is huge, number one. And number two, um, the large habitat isn't as large as the whole entire park, but it is going to be the center of our park. So obviously we're gonna have to add more animals to it. Right now we only have two ostriches and we have a few cattle. So I keep calling them cattle, they're African buffalo, sorry. Um, and another thing I forgot to do was give the ostriches like a right a proper feeding station um, Which is right here. They just have to refill it See my keepers are great. They just they take forever to do anything um, And because it's taken so long ooh, security's chasing somebody What did he do? Oh Security kicked out that person, and yet, he disappeared. Okay, um, but the other thing I was going to mention is that we added another um, little keeper hut because there was only one place to prep food, um, and if someone needed food over here, they would have to walk all the way down here, but instead they just come right over here. So we did a lot this episode, um, and I'm trying to make it the quickest video as possible with as much content in it, but that is where we're going to leave it off today. We did a lot. I'm happy with it. Make sure you leave me some suggestions. Hit that thumbs up if you want to help support out the channel. I am a startup YouTube channel, so I would greatly appreciate the support. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video, so goodbye.